from the standpoint of is the adoption happening? I think with large language models and open AI, yes. I think we're starting to see a lot more of that. I think the use cases are on the non-clinical side, very apparent in, you know, member services, in the financial side of it. On the clinical side, I think, you know, most of the larger payers, they delegate risk down to other entities. So I don't think that the payer necessarily is thinking about that type of thing. Yeah. Payers like us that are kind of payer providers, someone like Kaiser, who's a payer provider, we're thinking more on the clinical side of, you know, how do we impact clinical outcomes and, and clinically using these different models and wrapping around care plans to be able to actually engage the membership, understand the membership that's accelerating or decelerating on a daily basis. And then what is the next, you know, best action for that person? Right. So I think it's really a mixed bag of what's out there, but I'd largely say in the last six to eight months, open AI has opened the eyes yeah. <laughs> of a lot of bigger insurers that, yeah, wow, I really need to look at.